wrong in your computer and this and that. Those are such criminals. Yesterday there was a raid in Noida. 120 young guys and girls were arrested along with the kingpin. They were a couple. They, have, they were running three call centers in, in Delhi. And, uh, and according to them, 20 crores was re recovered from the bank accounts in cash. And in the time which they have been operating, these guys had scammed people of about 200 crore rupees. Insurance scam. They got the insurance database from an insurance company by paying only 35,000 rupees. And then they employed 120 young girls and guys. Those poor kids are now in jail. So, opportunity, but please, I always say, stay away from the dark side. We have grown up hearing the story of Lakshman Rekha. There is a Lakshman Rekha. Do not cross it. It is virtual. You never know why or when you cross it. Challenges, like I said, with the good, there's always a bad. Sometimes the bad goes ahead and the good follows. These are the challenges. The challenge, the primary challenge is here. This picture, which is now sort of you know, covered by other ones, but this is a common thing. This is, run, this is Ranchi, of course. This is a fiber optic cable on the road, exposed. So if, when I talk of digital India, I always put this out. I say, if, if this is not there, what are, we, what are we doing? Are building a castle in the air or what? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is your dear Bengaluru. Yesterday morning, I arrived at 9 o'clock. And this is Google telling me 30 minutes, 6.8 kilometers. So if I'm going to do 30 minutes, 6.8 kilometers, what am I trying to do? Is this Silicon Valley? Or is this what Silicon Valley promises me? And this is not tired and I walked out. I did not know where I was. And I just sat on the footpath and I said, I am not coming back over here. So I came back, I came yesterday. I spent 30 minutes or 40 minutes to reach my hotel. I have not stepped out of the hotel. Now this is something which is basically on change management. So if you have a vision, you have skills, you have incentives, resources, and you have an action plan, it's a utopian scenario. There is change which is going to happen. But when there's no change, when there's no vision, I have the skill. There are many over here who, there are many boys and girls who connect with me. Sir, I can do this. I can take down this website. I am very patriotic. I want to do something with the country. Go and do. So he has a skill. His incentive is his personal gratification. Resource, there's no requirement. You have a laptop, you have a resource. Action plan, he has an action plan. He's going to do this. Confusion. Because he doesn't know at the end of it, once he's done the, he's hacked that site, what will he do with that site? He doesn't know. Now vision. We have the vision. There's no skill. How many departments do we know? Hum ye karenge. Hum honge kamyab. Arre, kon karega kamyab? Gaadi kon chalayega? Who's going to drive the car? Who's going to take you there? Incentive, everything is there. You have to reach the airport. Anxiety. Oh, how will I do it? My deadline is approaching. My client is there. I have the vision and the skill. There's no incentive. You don't have an incentive. It is so typical. Resources are there, action plans are there, resistance. Because when I don't have the incentive, I'm not going to do it. You will tell me, go and do this. I said, no, no, why should I do it? I'll do it in my own time. Vision, skill, incentive, no resource. This is the best. No action plan. So where do we stand for digital India? I do not ask for any answers. Do we have a vision? Yes. Do we have skills? Somebody says yes, no madam. Somebody says yes, somebody says no. Three years back, some, one very big gentleman in the government said 5 lakh people are required. Just now, five minutes back, also we heard the same 5 lakh number. 10 years from now, you'll still hear 5 lakh number. You think in the last three years, People have not passed out. People have not got trained. Where have they gone? Five lakh is still constant. Incentives? Who gives incentives in government? Nobody. 
resources. We always say there's no budget. Action plan, forget it. I had actually made this. I thought I'd have some time and you know take a poll from you guys and do this. But vision, there's no shortage. Baki sir, everything else, you know, it comes as and when needed, or it is cooked up overnight. A lot of people over here are, do project management and deliver projects, right? How many times have you spent all night to deliver a project? <coughs> Rather, I should do the other way around. How many times have you not spent the full night to deliver a project? I don't think you'll ever remember a time like that when you did not spend the night. Or even for the students, how many times have you not spent the whole night preparing for an exam? My daughter is giving an, is also prepare, is giving an exam. For the last five days, she has not slept. Yesterday, I told her, at least eat something. I don't have time. Oh, good. This is another Bangalore. The same time when I was in Bangalore, the same time, 9.30, using 3G on Vodafone. Google is telling me I have a slow connection, so they're optimizing the page for me. How nice. So now Google does me a favor by doing that for me. That I don't spend my money. So this is our India Watch, my opinion. For every announcement which is made, 2020, multiply by 7.5. Four hours from four years from now, I say multiply by 7.5 and we will achieve what we are trying to achieve. Maybe. Pray that the government stays in power for the next three terms. And this is not me. This is a senior functionary of the government who has said and retracted the statement afterwards. Give us three terms, it will happen. Or the next government which comes has to have that much enthusiasm and drive to do it. Underlying infrastructure is so weak. It is so weak. We're building a modern high rise. 30 story, 40 story, the biggest building in the world. No water, no electricity, no school, no roads, no transportation. What will we do? We have another Bangalore. Corruption. Janam se dadikar. At one time, Mahatma Gandhi said, Azadi mein janam se dadikar hai. Swaraj, sorry. Today we say, whether I am in government or in private sector. Unfortunately, I have had experience where MNC, high-ranking officer, taking home 5 to 10 lakh rupees a month, asks for money for a 2 lakh rupee order. And my respect was zooped. 80-20 rule happens. So you've got 10,000 crores. Remember, 8,000 crores is going to go. 2,000 may be used. Do I see a leader for Digital India, sir? Anybody over here? Can you tell me one leader name who has been appointed that he is the leader? He is the CEO or the COO of Digital India? No. Except for the Prime Minister. He is the only gentleman who talks about it publicly and loudly, and it can't be the PM. It is not his job to run projects. It is not his jo not job to run the development. His job is to run the country. His job is to run to have the vision. But whatever I say here, of course, it's with due respect to all the experts and the prime minister. It's a tremendous uh, concept, Digital India. Hats off to whoever conceptualized it. Hats off to whoever is planning it. It is not something to be joked about. But a reality check, reality check is needed, and the reality check has not happened. PPP concepts, public-private partnership. We use it everywhere, every day. We pay toll. The toll period is finished, 30 years, 40 years. We are still paying toll because we got used to it. In Maharashtra, they had a Rasta Roku and all that, and it stopped. Then one fine day, they started charging toll all over again. And when I asked the guy, I said, how come you're charging toll again? No, no, you see this letter. He showed me his letter. Now in that five, one minute, when people are honking behind me, I can't stand and see the veracity of the letter. But he started charging.
government, not just government, when I say government, I mean public and private also. Legacy based, low risk appetite. L1, you are happy to solicit services from individuals and get grassroots level projects, process, software, get them to create software. Police departments, so many guys do it, so many government departments do it. Can you please make this software for me? They make it. The boy or the girl makes it. What does he get in return? One tamarapattar. That's it. Or 1,000 rupees or 500 rupees. That boy or girl can make 500, 1,000 rupees in one minute standing outside. He can make one lakh rupees in one day. And there are boys and girls in this country who are making that one lakh rupees a day and not paying income tax and they will not do it. That is something called bug bounty. They spend days, they find bugs, they find loopholes in places like uh, uh, Facebook, Google and all that. And they submit it to those people and those guys pay them anything from $500 to $5,000 or $10,000. The highest bounty was what? I think $1 lakh. So you can imagine, well, I have a friend, that boy is 17 years old. He makes an average of $7,000 a month on an average. How many of us have that income? He has bought his father and mother a new house. The challenge for Digital India very big challenge. Law enforcement agency and judiciary. We already have a huge backlog, backlog of cases. The gentlemen, the judges sitting over here will agree with me on that. How slow or how fast the system moves, it is evident in our trust or mistrust of the system. When Digital India comes up, like I said earlier, 25 crore more potential victims coming up. This, the, the scale of complaints increases tenfold, hundredfold. How will the police handle it when they don't have people? Today morning newspaper is talking about two different police stations in the city, right? It talks about one, one police station having uh, 2,000 cases and 100, 106 officers. And the other one having 200 cases and having 120 cases. So. But even with that, and they say that there are 15, 20 uh, of those uh, positions which are not filled. Why? Is it, there is unemployment in the country. Farmers are committing suicide. And we are not filling in government posts. Why? Because paisa nahi hai. This is what sort of paradox, what are we living in? Why are we, we are talking about digital India. How will we take them on? Those two and a half lakh locations where employment will be generated at the end point in that village. It is not just the panchayat which will get information. It will be the village will be empowered. A village with maybe 1,000, 2,000 people out of which the government will want that 100 or 200, 10%, 20% of those boys or girls should become empowered and should get an income source from the internet. If Flipkart and these companies can become billion dollar organizations in five years or four years time, what stops a smart young kid from a village building a billion dollar agricultural enterprise on uh, internet? Will it be because I cannot give him proper bandwidth? Because my digital India has not been planned properly? No. Because if he did something, he built something and somebody else came and you know, messed up his website and he gets caught by the law, and the police doesn't have time to investigate or the judiciary doesn't have time to take his case up or his case is going to come in one year or five years time. What's going to happen? Somebody robbed his domain. Very simple thing. I have a domain, dineshbareja.com. Somebody robs it at a time when my company is going from one lakh to 100 lakhs. And tomorrow he robs it. I go to the court. I say, sir, this is what happened. Pass a judgment against him. He says, come after two months, come after two years. What will happen? I'm finished. The next thing I know, cyber crime. Then I will make more money. So this is a government issue. This is a purchase issue. This is a cultural issue. L1 and CYA. Now L1, can I have a show of hands? How many know L1? What is the meaning of L1? All the government guys. 
So that is price-based purchasing, incidentally. L1 means the lowest one. So when you have a tender, L1 is the criteria. Is that technology criteria? Technical is one criteria, then they will open the commercial and they say L1. What is CYA? How many, how many know CYA? One hand. Two. Well, okay. With due apologies to the ladies over here, CYA means cover my backside. So when I say something, I always create some sort of shield so I don't get messed up. So I, what, I, what I'm doing is de-risking myself. What do I do by de-risking myself? You don't buy from me. I'm a, I'm a single person. You're a government department. You say I have to buy this five crore rupee software. But I will not buy from you. You are one guy. You will die tomorrow, I don't know. So I will buy from XYZ, big four, small four, medium four, big 40, X40, Y40. Why? Because they've been in their business for the last 100 years, they will not die. Okay. So they will not die, but this is a 2 crore software, now he will spend 20 crores. That is acceptable. Then he will say, okay, are the software is not working, please Dinesh, will you come and see the software? I say, okay, I'll come. What will you give me? I say, come on, yeah, you're a friend. Yeah. Are Baba, you paid 20 crores to that guy, okay, and just because I came wearing my teddy and banana, you're not paying me. So that is a paradox. The purchaser did a CYA and now he has told his boss, sir, it's not working, not my fault. I bought it from the best guy in the world. Now the best guy in the world is Volkswagen, is Audi. What they have done? They have cheated the whole very world by putting, by creating a software which gives you the wrong emission information. They have created a software which is so intelligent that if you will put your PUC, it knows that your PUC is being checked, so it will give you a different reading. So that is what, but, but what? I will buy Volkswagen, best car in the world. I will buy BMW, best car in the world. I will not buy Maruti. Why? Who buys Maruti? Somebody will see me, it's my image. So that is what it is. Digital India, how does it convert over there? Change of mindset. You have to change the way you buy, you have to change the way you see the person who is contributing to you. Treat that person like a human being. That 10, 15, 20 year old guy is a guy, is a human being, is not a child. He or she knows more about that domain than you do. So use that person and reward him. So the rest of your imagination, just let it fly to the success of Digital India. Now for all my young friends, well I live in Dubai and I find a lot of things over there. I, I see the news here and I see the news there. Some friends. This is an incredible country. I was just telling Mr. Pillay that when you come back here, the comfort you get the moment you get out of the plane, the comfort you get the moment you sit in the plane <coughs> coming home is very different. That comfort you don't get anywhere in the world. I, I'm living on the edge. It is not my home. It is not my country. We are very fortunate to be born here. Very, very fortunate. You travel anywhere else in the world and you see how fortunate we are. How big we are, how diverse we are. And what all we have done. We may laugh at the Premier Padmanis, we may laugh at the ambassadors of the world, or sorry, of the world, of the country. But remember, we have grown with them. We build them. We have gentlemen from ISRO over here. Very much homegrown. These are successes we have to be proud about. They have been built by us, by our own people. So today when we say that we can be the leader of whatever we do, nothing to stop us. So, and success can't overlook us. We have been at the forefront of innovation, space, industry, nuclear power, IT, whatever, you name it. Yes. How we did it? Different thing altogether. Hard work. With the government support, Yes or no, whatever way. But we have come where we are. And still a long journey. It's a long journey of the digital world. Now that's our challenge. And that's our opportunity to not just have the few billionaires, to have the next 100, 200, 10 hundred billionaires from the country. And not just billion, forget the billion, let's keep the money aside for a moment. It also is the 
uh, the satisfaction of the uh, success. The government is giving us the playing gear, what I say. They're giving you the pitch, they're giving you a bat, they're giving you a ball. Let's go and play. And it's for you guys to make the country more incredible. So with that, thank you very much. And if anyone of you want to write to me, you're welcome. You see, you don't need to see all that. You can just search me. I'm not a very private individual. So, oh, again, my other photograph. You move that, yeah, come on. I should ban it. Um, thank you, sir. On behalf of the organizing committee of the National Cyber Safety and Security Standards Summit 15, I would like to hand over our token of appreciation, sir. Thank you so much.